Hi everybody, this is Susan, and I've got a couple of things to show you this week. Last week I showed you a quilt that I had gotten back from the long arm quilters and was starting to um, put the binding on it, but I hadn't got it done yet, so I just showed you a little corner of it. Well, I finished it. Some of you have already seen it on Facebook, but the rest of you, here it is. It's a baby size quilt or a wall hanging. And this is it. And I like I like the checkerboard border and the big star in the middle. And I had it quilted at Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'll show you a little bit up close if you can see it it's got stars and swirls in it there you go i think you might see that and uh i'm not sure what that one's going to be for i don't know if it's going to be safe for future babies that might come into the family or if it's going to be um I don't know, donated or given to one of my nieces. I'm not sure yet. Uh, last year, I said one of my goals was to give all of my nieces a quilt that I had made. And to that end, I've done that with four, one, two, three, five nieces so far. I've got two to go. One of them is at the long arm quilter right now. And the other one is one that I haven't been in touch with for a long time. Um, don't know how to get in touch with her. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to move this thing a minute. Oops, let's do it this way. Um, her dad doesn't even know how to get in touch with her. They've been estranged for quite a few years. But he's going to talk to his son, who is in contact, and see if we can't can't get her phone number. She lives fairly close to here, I think, um, you know, like 30 minutes away. So it, I'd be able to get to go to see her and take the wheel. I kind of had in mind to get the um, paper piecing vintage, the bigger one quilted for her and that's a real possibility um but I might give her this one instead I'm not sure yet if I get her number I'll talk to her and give her some options and let her choose let's see what else have I got um my paper piecing vintage I've got it all put together and it's ready and I'm going to post a picture of it at the end of this video um, I love it. I think it's, I love the colors, and I like that this is a vintage, these are vintage blocks that are in this with a modern twist because they're paper pieced instead of traditional piecing. But on my last one that you can see right up here, uh, I used real vintage looking fabrics. And on this one, I used very modern looking fabric. So both of them are vintage with a twist. And um, anyway, you'll see it at the end of the video. You've probably already seen it if you are on Facebook, but I'll have that picture at the end of the video. The last thing I've done and gotten semi-completed is um, I've taken Miss Jennifer's lead and worked up a progress board. Ha ha! And here it is, quilts in progress. And I'll explain it to you in a second. Uh, but all of my post-it notes are right there on the board so all I have to do is pull one off and I don't have to go looking for them because I am the least organized person you will ever meet 
and I'm hoping this will help me organize a little um, because I've got so much going that I don't know. I get, you know, kind of <laughs> about what to do next. But down over here, I've got what I want to do. And the first thing that will go on there, I've got to fill out my little um, post-it notes. But the first thing that will go on there will be the rainbow quilt that Jen will be starting next month. Um, then we've got where I'm working on, whoops, working on blocks. And then the tops are done. And this is at the long arm quilter. And then down here, if I'm going to quilt it myself, I've got where it's sandwiched and basted and where it's I've completed quilting. And then next to that is totally completed. And that will be for the ones coming back from the long arm and the ones that I will do. And of course, there's my post-it notes. And I think that's going to work out. And I've got plenty of room on there that I can uh, add another category if I, if I feel the need to later. And I guess that's it for this week. I have rambled and I've talked and, oh, two quilts that need to go on the what I want to do board. Uh, one is the rainbow quilt. And the other one is I've got to do a baby quilt that is a um, Harry Potter quilt, the po Project of Doom, but this one will probably be this one will be crib size, so I won't need as many blocks. And I've been figure, trying to figure out what kind of, how I want to figure out the patterns. And I'm thinking another one that I, I had thought about for this child, instead of just Harry Potter, is to do a random fandom quilt. Because they're, her, his or her, I don't know which, parents are really geeky. Um, which is great. That's that. I, so am I. So <laughs> anyway, but maybe do a block from Harry Potter, one from Doctor Who, one from Game of Thrones, um, one from um, maybe trying to work up something from Firefly. Um, what else? Um. Princess Bride, and, uh, okay, I can't think of the name of the other one, Labyrinth, because those are all movies that these, these folks really love, and, uh, so, but they have mentioned that a Harry Potter quilt would be great, so I think maybe that's where I'll start, um, we'll see. Uh, that, I guess, is probably all I've got now. And if I remember anything else, I'll save it for next week. But I love you guys, and I have, am thoroughly enjoying the videos. And welcome, Abby. Yay! Um, and I guess that's it for this week. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.